Hello, my name is Alicia Argentimiro and I will be presenting you a lesson on space and space tourism. So the lesson starts now. Good morning, dear students. How are you today? Yes, thank you very much. I'm very well too. So, uh, let's start our lesson with a warm-up. For that, I would like you to stand up and stand in a circle. I'm going to throw you a ball with a letter. And you have to tell me the word that starts on this letter, but it has to be on topic of space. Okay? Then, you throw the ball to another student, to your classmate, with a new letter. Is this task clear? Okay, let's start. R. What did he say? Uh, Astronaut? Uh, rocket? Um. <laughs> B. B. Easy, easy. Um. B. Pudo. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. So, as you have probably guessed, our topic for today is going to be space. So, some lesson objectives for today is to review vocabulary on the topic of space, recognize specific information in an extended talk about space, deduce meaning from context, and develop and sustain a consistent argument when speaking or writing. So, how do you think we're going to achieve these objectives? What activities can we do? These were some great ideas. Thank you very much. Right now, we're going to watch a video about space. For the first time that you watch it, you have to just understand the main idea. At the dawn of the 20th century, our galaxy, the Milky Way, was the entire known universe. But now we live in the golden age of cosmic discovery. Telescopes are exploding our understanding of the cosmos. Bigger than ever and working in giant networks across the globe and in space, they are unlocking secrets that astonish and amaze us. the planets of our solar system in breathtaking detail. The majestic rings of Saturn and rolling storm clouds on the surface of Jupiter. But far beyond our solar system, we are now discovering exoplanets orbiting other suns. And beyond our galaxy, another hundred billion galaxies like Andromeda, Sombrero, and Whirlpool, each harboring hundreds of billions of stars. We've detected supermassive black holes spinning violently at the very centers of galaxies, including our own. We've witnessed supernovas exploding stars millions of light years away, spewing out superheated gas at 600,000 miles per hour. And deep inside clouds of gas and dust, billowing trillions of miles high, we can glimpse new stars being born. Telescopes have continued to open up vaster and vaster windows on the universe. Now, the latest telescopes are revealing the invisible mysteries of space that we are only just beginning to understand. Dark matter, the hidden scaffolding our entire cosmos is built on. And dark energy, a powerful and invisible force that is pushing our universe apart. Every time you try and explore a new part of the universe, we have these great discoveries and these great surprises. All right, so you have watched the video. Now I have some questions to you. Did you understand everything in the video? Were there any unfamiliar words? 
Yes, you've heard some new terms like supernova or black hole and some new names of galaxies like Andromeda and Sombrero. Uh, so this time you're going to listen to this video again and you have to do some exercises. This exercise is going to be filling in the gaps. So first of all, let's read these questions. I mean sentences, so. The first one is, at the dawn of the 20th century, our galaxy, the Milky Way, was the entire known, and you have to put the word here. The second, but now we live in the golden age of cosmic discovery. Number three, telescopes are exploding our understanding of the... Four, bigger than ever and working in giant networks across the globe and in... They are unlocking secrets that astonish and amaze us. Number five, the of our solar system, in breathtaking detail, the majestic rings of Saturn and rolling storm clouds on the surface of Jupiter. Number six, but far beyond our solar system, we are now discovering exoplanets orbiting other suns, and beyond our, another hundred billion galaxies like Andromeda, Sombrero and Whirlpool, each harboring hundreds of billions of stars. Number seven. We detected supermassive black holes spinning violently at the very centers of galaxies, including our own. Number eight. We witnessed supernovas exploding millions of light years away, spewing out superheated gas at 600,000 miles per hour. Number nine. And deep inside, of gas and dust, billowing trillions of miles high, we can glimpse new stars being born. Number 10. Telescopes have continued to open up vaster and vaster windows on the universe. Now, the latest telescopes are revealing the invisible mysteries of the space that we're only just beginning to understand. Number 12. Dark matter, the hidden scaffolding, our entire cosmos, is built on and dark, a powerful and invisible force that is pushing our universe apart. And the last sentence, number 13. Every time you try and explore a new part of the universe, sorry, we have these great, these great surprises. So, you're going to watch this video one more time and you have to fill in the gaps. At the dawn of the 20th century, our galaxy, the Milky Way, was the entire known universe. But now we live in the golden age of cosmic discovery. Telescopes are exploding our understanding of the cosmos. Bigger than ever, and working in giant networks across the globe and in space, they are unlocking secrets that astonish and amaze us. The planets of our solar system in breathtaking detail. The majestic rings of Saturn and rolling storm clouds on the surface of Jupiter. But far beyond our solar system, we are now discovering exoplanets orbiting other suns. And beyond our galaxy, another hundred billion galaxies, like Andromeda, Sombrero, and Whirlpool, each harboring hundreds of billions of stars. We've detected supermassive black holes spinning violently at the very centers of galaxies, including our own. We've witnessed supernovas exploding stars millions of light years away, spewing out superheated gas at 600,000 miles per hour. And deep inside clouds of gas and dust, billowing trillions of miles high, we can glimpse new stars being born. Telescopes have continued to open up 
vaster and vaster windows on the universe. Now, the latest telescopes are revealing the invisible mysteries of space that we are only just beginning to understand. Dark matter, the hidden scaffolding our entire cosmos is built on. And dark energy, a powerful and invisible force that is pushing our universe apart. Every time you try and explore a new part of the universe, we have these great discoveries and these great surprises. So, now look at the exercise and fill in the gaps. Alright, your time is up. Let's check your answers. So, these are the keys. The first word was universe. Number two, cosmos. Number three, space. Number four, planets. Number five, galaxy. Number six, stars. Number seven, clouds. Number eight, energy. And number nine, discoveries. So, uh, some success criteria for this task. Out of nine um, words, <laughs> if you have seven or more, you have achieved. If you have less than seven, well, unfortunately, you are working towards, but we will uh, practice this exercise sometime later. Next, what we're going to do is practice some vocabulary. In the ninth grade, you have learned some new words about space, and today we're going to review them and learn some more. Exercise number one, uh, you have to match definition with a word. So look through the task, please. You have five minutes to complete it. All right, your time is up, so let's check. Number one, a path that a celestial body takes as it revolves around another celestial body? The answer is orbit. Number two, a large celestial body that revolves around a star and is larger than an asteroid. This is a planet, correct. Number three, the distance light travels in one Earth year. Light year. Number four, Earth's imaginary line that runs from the North Pole through the center of Earth to the South Pole? The correct answer is axis. Number five. This occurs when one celestial body passes through the shadow of another celestial body. The answer is eclipse. Number six. All matter and energy that exists, including Earth, stars, planets, and dust. Universe. Number seven. A red giant that uses almost all of its fuel will begin to collapse into this type of star. At this stage of a star's life cycle, the star will give out very little light. The correct answer is white dwarf. Number eight. A massive star that uses up all its fuel, rapidly contracts and explodes. The explosion releases an enormous burst of energy. The correct answer is supernova. Number nine, small chunks of rock that orbit the sun. Asteroid. And number 10, an old star of average size that has begun to expand and cool as its fuel has begun to run out. The correct answer is red giant. So, these are some answers if you haven't managed to catch them. Next exercise is you have to select the definition that most nearly defines the given word. So now you have the term and two definitions. You have to choose the best one. Number 11, protostar. Is it a matter from a nebula that has begun to condense under the weight of gravity to begin the formation of a star? Or is it small chunks of rock that orbit the sun? 
The correct answer is A. Number 12. Satellite. A. A body such as the moon that revolves around a larger body. This may also be an artificial object that was sent into space to orbit another object. B. An instrument that makes distant objects seem larger. What do you think is the correct answer? Correct. Answer A. 13. Supernova. So you already know this word. Is it a massive star that uses up all its fuel, rapidly contracts and explodes, and the explosion releases an enormous burst of energy? Or is it a body such as the moon that revolves around a larger body? The correct answer is A. Correct. Number 14. Black hole. A. The final stage of a star's life cycle when no light is released from the star. Or B. An area of dense, invisible matter in space. The gravitational attraction is so large in this that anything that enters will not escape. The correct answer is B. 15. Spectroscope. An instrument used by astronomers to study the light given off by stars. Or B. Earth's imaginary line that runs from the North Pole through the center of Earth to the South Pole. The correct answer is A. 16. Eclipse. A path that a celestial body takes as it revolves around another celestial body. Or B. This occurs when one celestial body passes through the shadow of another celestial body. The correct answer is B. 17. White Dwarf A. A red giant that uses almost all of its fuel will begin to collapse into this type of star. At this stage of a star's life cycle, the star will give out very little light. B. A massive star that uses up all its fuel, rapidly contracts and explodes. The explosion releases an enormous burst of energy. A. 18. Telescope. Is it an instrument that makes distant objects seem larger? Or is it a small celestial body that orbits the sun? The correct answer is A. An instrument that makes distant objects seem larger. 19. Magnitude. A. A measure of the brightness of a star or another celestial body. B. A group of stars that form a pattern or shape. Ancient astronomers named these patterns after animals or from Greek mythology. So the correct answer is A. And number 20, the last one, red giant. A. Matter from a nebula that has begun to condense under the weight of gravity to begin the formation of a star. Or B. An old star of average size that has begun to expand and cool as its fuel has begun to run out. The correct answer is B. So, check your answers once again. In total we had 20 words. So if you have 16 or more, then congratulations, you have achieved. But if less than 16, you get working towards. Please count your answers. Be honest. Okay, so I hope that you have all achieved. And let's move on to another exercise. We're going to practice these new words some more. So now you have to choose two words from these new ones. I will give you templates of cards. There you have four sections. Definition, illustration, synonyms or antonyms, and example sentence. So you have to write the meaning of the word that you chose, draw it, find synonyms or antonyms if possible, and use it in a sentence. But instead of this word, you leave a blank space, of course. Okay, so this is how the template looks like. As you can see, you have four sections. 
And this is the example card. So for, uh, the definition of the word that I chose is the period of time during which it gets dark because of the moving of sun or moon or earth. And the illustration, you can see a dark spot there. Synonyms or antonyms, darkening, obscuration. An example, this by Stephanie Meyer is one of my favorite books about vampires. So did you guess the word? Okay, now it's your turn to make these cards. I know. I know. I finished. What's the opposite of red? Okay, good job. So right now, you're going to give me these cards. I'm going to make them up and give out new cards to each of you. So you have three or four minutes to guess the word on the card. Okay, time starts now. Okay, your time is up. So have you guessed all of the words? Good job. So now I want you to open your books and look at the pictures on the page. Can you tell me, will the general public be able to go into space in 2015? Why? Or why not? Thank you. Th these were some great answers. So now I want you to work in pairs and discuss with your partner the following questions. Do you think you will ever take a holiday in space? Should governments spend taxpayers' money on space travel? And why are there so many satellites orbiting the Earth? Will this technology become more important in your view? So you have five minutes to discuss it with your classmate. Okay, thank you for your conversations. So now we're going to read the text. So we'll look at exercise. Here you, you can see that you have the text. So five minutes to read it because it's not very long. All right, have you finished? So look at the next exercise. If you have noticed, there were some gaps in the text. There were seven gaps in the text. So in exercise number four, you see a task. Seven sentences have been removed from the article. And you see the box with the sentences from A to H. You have to decide which sentence goes to which gap. But be careful, there is one extra sentence. You can work in pairs. So. All right. So look at the answers, please. The first one is D, 2, G, 3, B, 4, H, 5, F, 6, C, 7, E. And sentence A was extra one. Now let's go back to the page with exercises. So remember that we started um, studying suffixes and prefixes to form new words. So now we're going to practice them. So exercise number six. You have to look at the given words and try to use these words with suffixes or prefixes. So for example, the word A is use. So we can make reusable out of this word. You have five minutes to create new words using word formation suffixes or prefixes. All right, your time is up. So let's check. One was reusable, it was already done. Number two, or B, commercial. Then economics, delivery, efficiency, endlessly, irreversible, settlement, inappropriate, 
And the last one was affordable. How many answers did you get? Great job! So, at the end of our lesson, I would like to ask you these questions. How do you feel after the lesson? To do that, I'm going to give you A4 papers. You have to put your palm on the paper and trace it. So you have the picture of your hand on the paper. So, I will ask you some questions and you have to write your answers, just a word or a phrase or a sentence, on the specific fingers. So, on your thumb, write an answer to the following question. What new information have you learned today? Okay, next finger, index finger. What was easy for you? Ready? Middle finger, what was difficult for you? Okay, write on your ring finger. What question do you want to ask your teacher? Maybe something is still unclear. All right, and the last, your little finger, or sometimes you can call it pinky. So, what will you take with you from today's lesson? What will you always remember? Ready? Now, I would like you to share your answers. What new information have you learned today? I learned the uh, difference between red giant, white dwarf and supernova. Uh, what was easy for you? Our first exercise of filling the gaps. Mm -hmm. What was difficult? Warm up because of difficult waters. Mm -hmm. uh, what questions do you have to the teacher? No question. And what will you take with you from the lesson? Good mood. Thank you very much. Uh, what new information have you learned today? A new word, glimpse. What was easy for you? Uh, our first task is filling the gaps. What was difficult? Uh, matching words with definitions such as orbit or eclipse. What questions do you have to the teacher? Everything's clear. And what will you take with you from the lesson? Uh, my own word of the telescope. Thank you. What new information have you learned today? I learned today new special gems like supernova, light year, and uh, red giant. Okay. What was easy for you? Easy for me uh, was writing uh, definition and drawing pictures. What was difficult? Uh, fill in the gaps. Mm -hmm. uh, what questions do you have to the teacher? No questions. And what will you take with you from the lesson? New information and knowledge. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much for your answers. It was very useful for me to know. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for your work. Your home task will be to learn new vocabulary. Goodbye, have a nice day. So thank you very much for viewing and these are some links and resources that I used when prepared this lesson. This is a YouTube um, link to the video about space and the name of the book that I used for reading and exercises after reading. Thank you again. Have a good day.